back with another Master Tools video. Today I'll be showcasing you the updated uh, Fluffles Fright Fur deck for Ranked. Um, you have seen me play this for the Fusion Festival. It's very, very good, very, very fast to grind uh, gems because it had an OTK potential, but this is the deck profile for uh, for Fluffles. And also I'll show you some um, combos, even though the combos are not necessarily, um, you know, 100% doable because this is a very draw um, draw heavy deck where you need to see what you get in your hand from toy vendor for example and uh, other random circumstances but overall some of those combos you can be able to do uh, some of those combos or some of those patterns that to notice like for example when you have dolphin plus penguin you can get a Bahamu shark stuff stuff like that will be easy uh, I'll make it easier for you to identify and get into the deck quicker but anyway with the, the deck I'm running is for the fluffles for the fluffle ratios guys uh, you can choose your own rough uh, fluffle ratios I've been changing them up to see how they feel um, but uh, it's good to know what each fluffle does and then you can make your own decision on how many how many copies you want to run of each and uh, and yeah I'm running one wings this is pretty standard I think most people run one or two wings um, this allows you to send it with Dolphin to the graveyard or uh, and one toy vendor and you draw like two cards, it's a pot of greed. Um, Octopus allows you to recycle uh, banished, uh, banished monsters and also you can also uh, target one Fluffle or Edge monster from your graveyard, add it to your hands, so it just recycles. Sheep is a good extender. Uh, Sheep allows you to special summon this and also return one fluffle to get one edgeimp from the graveyard back in. So this allows you to go for a link play. Edgeimp sabers. One of this guys comes back from the graveyard allows you to extend as well. And you can also use the effect of it uh, returning to the field by placing one card on the uh, from your hand to the top of the deck to uh, prep, prep your toy vendor. I'm running two bears guys. Lots of people run three, but I feel like three is too much. Two is just about right in my opinion, but this is all subjective. This is all tech choices. You can do whatever you want. I like two bears because this will send, um, you can send this card from your hand to get, to activate, like to set a toy vendor directly onto the field. And uh, you can also tribute this card, then target one poly in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So because I'm running two is because with Foolish burials. You're gonna, you're gonna have, you won't have enough toy vendors. If you have running three bears, you won't have enough toy vendors, and then you have some dead foolish burials. But well, all those foolish burials not necessarily dead when there's no more toy vendors. It's good for fright for uh, repair and eldritch. But we'll get onto that. I'm running one ash. I was running two ashes before, and uh, some axes, but I decided to put in a Nibiru instead. Nibiru, very very good in this meta because of best of ones. You don't know what deck they're gonna play, and you don't know if they're gonna they're a combo deck that summons like a, a billion times. But make sure you do this before they summon um, the the negate. Uh, two edge scythes. This allows you to summon well on the enemy turn and pop your scythe or your back row or your toy vendor plus one of their monsters. It's basically DPE before DPE came out. Three dogs, very very important. Allows you just to search for any Fluffle or Edge and Saver from your deck and add it to your hand. Edge and Chain, this is a really good running three of these. This is a very good um, uh, discard with Toy Vendor. Uh, just allows you to extend into VFD uh, by searching one of your Fright Fur cards, either Patchworks, um, Fright Fur Fusion or Repair. Uh, all of them are very, very good. We have Celeste, Dasher and Fusion Destiny. Only running one copy of Fusion Destiny. Uh, because I feel like you not very rely on it uh, because you have a lot of things that you can want to draw into you want to keep the you know the DP engine as small as possible by removing uh, one fusion destiny and it has helped I actually um, I don't draw into fusion Dest uh into any of these cards too too often which is really good I'm running two penguins some people like three penguins this allows you to special this first effect um, so special summon one fluffle monster is not hard once per turn however the second one the graceful charity one when this is used as a fusion material is um, is hard once per turn that one so if you like use this if you summon this fuse out and then bring it back onto the field somehow you can use its special uh, special summon one 
uh, again, which is really, really handy. One Dolphin, this allows you to target one Toy Vendor in your graveyard, uh, put it on the field, and also send one Fluffle, which is always going to be Wings, and uh, and the Wings will allow you to draw two. And then when this card is used as a Fusion Material, you can shuffle um, shuffle a Poly into your deck. Uh, Artifact Scythe, really easy to pop with Whale on enemy turn, very, very easy. And lastly, we have Eldritch for our main monsters. This is really good for uh, our Toy Vendor combo, allows you to draw a lot, a lot of cards, and it also gives you an extra extender, allowing you to summon it back onto the field uh, for a 3500 beat stick, 3800 defender, or use it to uh, link into more stuff. Three polys. Uh, some people run two. I really, I, I much prefer having three polys, guys. Three polys is very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. Three polys. This will be able to, um, you know, get back a poly from a fluffle bear. You need three polys, especially if you're running the, the extra deck I'm running, because you want to go saber, uh, say, kraken into sabers into kraken again. One fright for a fusion. Some people run two. Um, I don't have two. I haven't tried it out, but I heard it's okay. Uh, three foolish barrels to go into toy vendor. Very important starter. Patchwork. Patchworks, really good. Uh, allows you to get Poly and Edge Imp. One Fusion Destiny. One Fry for Repair allows you to extend. And three Toy Vendors and Forbidden Droplets. There are other Fluffle cards that you might want to consider, such as Cat. Cat is very good as it, it if it's summoned, uh, if used as a material for Fusion, you can target one Poly and Regrave it, add it to your hand. So it's a kind of extender. Um, Owl is really good because you can get a Poly. From your deck or you have five pay 500 life points and use this card as a poly substitute actually this is actually just poly um those are the two cards that i would say are the most important um rabbit is sometimes used <laughs> uh, if this card is fusion summoned as material you can target one edge of sabers or one fluffle monster in your graveyard add it to your hand it's sometimes used and yeah that's basically it Choose, uh, you, you can read them yourself and decide if you want to add any of those tech choices yourself. Uh, for the extra deck, I'm running one Tiger, one Saber Tooth, one Kraken. Um, some people are cutting out the Saber Tooth. A lot of people are cutting out Wolf. Wolf is not in the deck list uh, because of how strong, like, because of how packed the, the deck is. But I, I like the Saber Tooth Tiger instead of Dugaris because it feels a little bit less punishing and it also is good for the grind game if you get those games because if you use three or more materials it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects which can help you store a few turns to get into whatever you need and it combos well with Kraken. Uh, three whales, uh, some people run two whales if they're running DPE but I find three whales really really important because you use two to summon VFD right but then you have loads of edge and scythes still in your deck, which are like, you know, stranded if you don't have a third whale sometimes. So like, I have the third whale just to have VFD and an extra uh, pop on the enemy turn if I need it. One DPE, DPE is really, very really good. Um, it's like a whale, but better and stronger. Arriving Bahamut Shark and totally awesome. This combo is really good. It gives you an Omni Negate with uh, Penguin and Dolphin. And also two bodies, which is pretty good. VFD, e very very easy to summon with two whales. I'll show you the combo for it in a bit. Cross sheep, I find this card not very good, but it's in every single deck. I have personally not used cross sheep to extend, but you can do some cool stuff like you can cross sheep with uh, Fluffle Penguin and uh, bring it back, and then you can special summon one thing, uh, another Fluffle Monster from your hand, and then extend really hard with it. But I just personally haven't been able to do it. Uh, Dagda is very easy to get outside with and also very easy because you always have these set down toy vendors on the field. We have Verde Articonde, really good with uh, Fright for Fusion and Fusion Destiny and sometimes even Poly to like pull a Poly from the... <laughs> sometimes you don't have a Poly and you can Poly, <laughs> like you can have a Poly, uh, which is very important. Unicorn, it's pretty decent to... Uh, to link climb into and then we for our last link four we're running access code talker you can run underworld goddess here we were running appaloosa before i find that i hardly ever go into appaloosa with this deck 
um, because I have totally awesome anyway, so I don't understand why Appaloosa is here. Uh, but so I recommend having access code or Underworld Goddess for your Link 4. But anyway guys, I'm going to show you some combos and uh, little patterns to, to notice. So here's some com uh, here's like some patterns that you should notice for the deck. Uh, I got this from Reddit, you can also find this on the Discord if you want to have this um, little thing. Uh, you can also try to find a Reddit post, uh, but this is very useful combo sheet. Um, yeah, you can find it on the Discord, just link in the description below. We have two water monsters, which is Fluffle Penguin and Dolphin. You get a Bahamu Shark and and you get our Totally Awesome, which is the Omni Negate. Uh, if you have two level 9s, which is two wells, you get VFD. You can. This is the combo, the Kraken, you summon Kraken and then you use it as a material to summon Sabertooth Tiger, which allows you to special summon it from the graveyard. And then with these two, if you don't OTK, because you will have exactly lethal with these two and one pop, um, you can go into a rank 8, which is usually Hopebringer. Uh, you can go for a Scythe Lock, which you, you summon Whale with Scythe, and then you set it with Dagda and you can pop the Scythe. Or you can pop, uh, what, what's his face, uh, Toy Vendor to go into your Fluffles for the turn 3 if you are going first. Um, this is a thing you can do here as well with the Nemesis Corridor. You can summon Colossus with it. Uh, good cards that will be coming out soon will be Royal Penguin Garden. Allows you to search for penguins. Uh, extenders, fluffles. This can go into rank 4 plays. You can special summon a fluffle with this card, and it's not hard ones per turn. This one is you can special summon from the hand. You can recycle agents from the graveyard. This one can be special summon grave. And uh, you can stack your deck for vendor and return poly for patchwork. Uh, this one is the monster reborn. If so, if what, how fr repair works? If it's in your hand and you play it from hand, you return one uh, fusion fusion fight for a monster to the extra deck, and you can special summon from the graveyard. If it's in the graveyard, you can banish to summon something from the hand. Um, the MVP of the deck, Toy Vendor, Bear searches it, Foolish Barrel mills it, Chad Lich gets discarded by it, and then special summons itself back by removing it, and you get to search and Dolphin. Re uh, Dolphin re recycles it. Uh, when these cards are sent to the graveyard, you draw two, discard one, recycles fusion cards, recycles two banished monsters to the graveyard, recycles poly, recycles fluffle for these guys. Here is the VFD combo. If you start off with a patchworks plus penguin, you can search for patchwork, um, poly, with the search, uh, you know I mean, you search for poly and edgem, and then you fuse these two together, edgems plus penguin into whale. Whale will then... Whale will just be there. <laughs> and then, because this card is sent to the graveyard, Edge and Shame, you can search for Frightful Fusion. And then after you, you, you fuse those two that are in the graveyard, and uh, you get a VFD. And you also get two card draws with the Penguin, so you can extend after you get VFD. After that, this is a basic Eldritch interaction. You can have a Fluffle Bear set a Toy Vendor. You can activate Toy Vendor if you, if you hard open it. You use the Toy Vendor effect to discard Eldritch, you don't use... Um, if you have extra copies of Toy Vendor, you can actually pop a card first. Um, but then afterwards you send it to the graveyard, which allows you to search for a, a Dolphin. A Dolphin, uh, you special summon this in defense by the way, uh, will, get, will set from the graveyard the Toy Vendor that you discarded and you mill uh, the wings. After you mill the wings, you can uh, banish wings and bear and draw two cards. And this will allow you to search for any extender. If you draw very very good, these are some good example combos and patterns to note for. Um, first thing you want to do is activate everything. Where if you start with fusion, uh, foolish burial, patchworks, and bear, you 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 know you get your toy vendor, you send your thingy, and you make sure you search for the for the dolphin. Dolphin is very good. Um, if you don't start with bear, it's going to be a little bit harder to extend with dolphin because you want to search for bear because there's nothing for the wings to banish. You have to banish a Fluffle monster, and then this card will search for Edgem's chain and whatever. Normal summon the normal summon the dolphin, or normal summon the dolphin. Set from graveyard. You know, see this pattern before, and then you banish for cards. Afterwards, you fuse for VF, uh, for whale. Ensure that you get these two cards. This is if you're copium getting the cards that you need. And then afterwards you can mill any extra deck. 
uh, use the throw repair that you magically drew <laughs> uh, to be able to special summon from graveyard. This has not what hard ones return. You can special summon from hand dog that you magically drew as well. A little search as you fluffle uh, sheep. Then you go into your Omni Negate. This will return the dog, special summon for this, get cross sheep, uh, fight for fusion. This fight for fusion with cross sheep allows you to special summon penguin back and also get VFD. With that, you can special summon from hand again the dog. The dog will go into you know a link to for Dagda, for IP, whatever you choose. Um, uh, IP, Dagda, Verde Alicande for Fusion Destiny. And uh, yeah, and then you can do the side combo, or you have this M this Giga Chad M board of VFD, totally awesome by Hermu Shot, to Toy Vendor Plus, you know, Verde Plus Artifact Scythe, and then you can, or IP, and then you can go into Avery Max. But that, that's a general combo. Uh, hopefully, uh, you got those in. I'll be showing you guys a little bit of gameplay, and then, um, yeah, and I'll show you bit the, those combos in action. So, this is the first replay of Fluffles. So these decks, these these games for this deck doesn't end very very long because um, your first turn is quite oppressive. How you can combo into VFD into very oppressive stuff like um, yeah, it just doesn't last very long. In the Fusion Festival, it was an OTK deck. Now it can going first. It has options going first, and then second and at going second, you can just OTK someone. So that's why the decks don't. I mean, these replays would not be the most indicative of how <laughs> how the how to like play the long game but I'll try to find a game for you guys to show off the power of it uh, in the grind game which it can very well do as well but as you can see what I did first was basically do the dolphin combo see what kind of extender I can get with it and uh, go into a whale to get fry for fishing this allows me to get a VFD um, at this point, I could have went for uh, cross sheep before I went for this fright for fusion. As you can see, I'm not very good with cross sheeping. Um, I used the repair to summon uh, fluffle penguin and dolphin. The dolphin will go, uh, will get back the toy vendor and send. I think I messed up. I didn't send the wings here, but I got my bar home in short, which is my omni negate. So this will stop Nibiru, and then after that, I will go into the well. Here I could have went into sheep, into cross sheep first, it allows me to get uh, the fluffle penguin here first and then summon this onto the, the link arrow. But you know, I forgot about it, but we can we still get a very decent board here, which allows us to extend with the... We, we still can extend with sheep, this allows us to get Dagda, because this is uh, on the field not activated. You make remember you have to chain this by the way, you have to chain the Dagda effect when you activate this and this will get you a artifact scythe here. After that, after that you can uh, you know get your Bahamut Shock. When Bahamut Shock is done, um, here th there's like lots of options you can do, like you can use this Bahamut Shock to link into Verde for DPE. Um, luckily I had a Edgem Saber so I can extend via that. But you can also use the Bahamu Shark here. Because after you summon a Totally Awesome, you can wait until next time to get another Totally Awesome and use up all the materials. Or you can just, you know, just link it off because you already got it. You're, this is the guy that you want. This guy is just here because of this guy. But I just get DPE. DPE will allow me to uh, artifact Scythe on his turn. And I set down Forbidden Droplets. And this is my end board. <laughs> yep, pretty. This is a fusion deck, by the way, guys. A fusion deck. So I use Totally Awesome to negate the Raigeki and Yoink it. Very, very awesome, right? Very awesome. This is why we run Totally Awesome. Very easy to summon with Penguin and uh, Dolphin. Fire Bahamut Shock. For VFDs, right? Um, I, I think the best option for VFD right now is either Dark because all the cyber dark stuff that's happening and also the dark effects that you are sending to the graveyard with like dark claws and stuff. Um, I highly recommend dark. Light is good if you're feeling it's a herald meta. Uh, other than that, fire is good for Ash Blossom. This replay is, is me going second. Second is a bit more difficult because, um, well, depending on what you ha open. 
um, they might have a very very extensive board they play I mean, yeah, I played against a Rika in Plat. The meta right now is very, very diverse. Like, uh, there's a lot, a lot of decks here. Uh, the most common I've seen is Sword Soul right now, but that is top tier. But as you can see, what I can do here is just wait until um, to a certain point where he's uh, at his choke point of the combo, and then we can summon Edge Imps. We can use Edge Imps Scythe's effect to summon a Whale to pop uh, his card, which will completely stop his tracks. And I'm just waiting for his Exceed summons here. I could have done it earlier and he would have had nothing on the board, uh, but I, I, I just waited because I didn't really know what Ed, what Rika does, so I just waited for, you know, him to special summon something big, and then I go into, uh, I pop my own whale, which gets protected with the scythe, and then I pop his XC the monster, which is, uh, which stops his combo on the track. So this is what you do if you're going first, you have a lot of, um, you know, interruption with the Edge and Scythe whale, or uh, you have Ashes and Nibiru's as well in the deck, and you can have more ratios of that as well. And then after that, we just, you know, play out the combo. We, we mill out the Toy Vendor, we get out the, the Fluffle Penguin and Dolphin. Dolphin brings back the Toy Vendor, we mill this, and we draw we draw two cards. It's very, very good. We mill for, we use the thing to mill first. This Edgems will activate in the graveyard which gives us patchworks. Patchworks will give us more things to extend into and more things to fusion. And remember when you have Fluffle, uh, when you have Penguin and Dolphin, you can always go into Bahamu Shark. We we, dis we um, banish those two to draw two. Uh, Toy Vendor activates, we get another Penguin. We use these two to go into Bahamu Shark so they just don't uh, negate us. We could have went into there early but uh, he activates his trap, which is to mind control our thing. But that is fine, because we have another one we can go we can extend into Fluffle Penguin. This is not hard once per turn. Uh, we get our Fluffle Dog, search the Edge Imp Sabers, and uh, we use this guy to summon Tiger. Tiger will allow us to pop two cards. Um, this is, uh, I've been underestimating how strong Tiger is compared to Kraken. Kraken only pops one card and then he can't attack directly, but Tiger allows you to pop two cards and it gives you, like, look how much damage I have on the board now, randomly. I get to pop these two cards, um, and I have lethal damage here, but I didn't really bother counting, so I just fusion destiny into DPE to really guarantee that I have uh, lethal. But yeah, this is uh, what you do in going second fluffles in, in this variant. It's can be very very volatile depending on your starting hand. That's why uh, Forbidden Droplets is very very good in case they have like a really really strong board that you actually have must negate before you can start playing. But other than that, it has its potential to you know OTK someone if they have empty board, which is what Tiger is good for. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you learned everything you need to know to start playing some fluffles. Peace out, guys.